everyone, and welcome to Spotlight Torrance, where we're exploring your city. I'm Christy Wilcox, your host for today's show. I'm in the James Armstrong Theater, and as you can see, I'm backstage checking out all the performers getting ready for the show. Now, today is the 15th annual Employee Variety Show, where people are singing, dancing, and performing their hearts out, all for a great cause. Fabulous. It's always fun to do the show. Everybody's out there on the stage together, uh, taking turns singing full Porter songs. Everything rolled is like my Super Bowl tonight. It's got back from a week in China where we played uh, something called the Nanning Folk Festival. We don't have an exact tally tonight, so we're going to present you with what's called the big check. I'm here with Brian Sunshine, who is the MC of tonight's show, is that right? That is correct. All right, and... Uh, are you going to pull some jokes tonight? What are you going to do? Well, I hope so. We like to be funny, or at least we think we're funny, but really, it's up to the audience. It's up to the audience. And tell me what tonight's show is all about. Well, the show tonight, for all of us, and hopefully the audience, is about fun. But the underlying theme is raising money for the American Cancer Society to help with funding research and prevention and awareness. It's just such a worthwhile cause, and it touches so many people. And you know, so many of our, our members of the show, so many members of our, we have survivors out there, we have people that are fighting it, we have uh, folks in the show that have lost loved ones. It's, it's just such an important event, and it brings a sense of community, which is really nice. And I'm going to talk, I'm excited to talk to a few of these people later, but there's a special reason why you're here tonight. That's true. I, uh, when I started the show, when we started the show, uh, I, I did not start the show, um, when we got together, uh, Cancer wasn't in my life, which was, I mean, nice. And two years later, my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer. And after a, a very valiant battle, she lost her battle two years later. And so for myself and my daughters, this, this show, The Relay for Life, the American Cancer Society has become a passion because we want to help others survive. And I have two daughters. I want to make sure that new treatments and cures come along Absolutely. to prevent it. Absolutely. And uh, we want to help our important. friends. Okay, now that we know how important tonight's show is, Haley Skeen is out in the front lobby checking out all the live auction items. You're going to want to check these out because there are some people that are having fun tonight. Haley, what do you got? Hi, Christy. I'm here in the giveaway area checking out all the great prizes. And the best part, there's up to 32 different prizes that people will walk away with tonight. They range from everything from a Kindle Fire, local artwork, and a one-night stay for two in the Miyako Hybrid Hotel. Later, we'll take a look at the variety show itself and what it's all about. Thanks, Haley. Those are some great prizes, and I can't wait to talk to some of the winners. So up after the break, we're going to see who donates tonight, and we're going to talk to an international pop icon who is here performing. Before we were ever treated for breast cancer, we planned for life after breast cancer. We made the choice. That breast cancer would not take something away from us. Unfortunately, not every woman knows her choices. The American Society of Plastic Surgeons is supporting the Breast Cancer Patient Education Act, a bill that will help make sure women who are facing breast cancer surgery are told about all their options. Help bring this important issue to light. Call your member of Congress and ask them to support the Breast Cancer Patient Education Act. We have a job to do out here today. To be a winning team, you have to work like a winning team. My team depends on me. And my team is 50,000 strong. Looks like a lot of work's going into this. This is what it feels like to be part of a team. A winning team. The action team. Are we ready? Action team. Get in on the action at actionteam.org. Are you in? Welcome back to Spotlight Torrance, where we're exploring your city. I'm here at the Employee Variety Show, and we're about to check more out. But before we do that and see these people who are raising funds for the American Cancer Society, we're going to go out to Faith Lee, who went to Baby Cakes Bakery, who's been in Torrance for seven years. We're going to see what's new this season. If you've ever had a sweet tooth, Baby Cakes Baking Company is the place to come to curb your craving. So this is our maple bacon cupcake. It's our vanilla buttermilk cake. 
uh, infused with a little bit of maple syrup. It's topped with a very lightly maple cream cheese frosting and some candied bacon. From unique flavors like the maple bacon cupcakes to churros con leche cupcakes, Baby Cakes offers up to 12 different flavors every day and starting the day with cupcakes is a routine for some customers. I do have people that come in as soon as we're open 9 a.m. they're in the door. Um, we have, I have one customer who's been with us probably for six years and she comes in two or three times a week and gets uh, a chocolate chip cookie and a cupcake. Baby Cakes has been in the South Torrance community for seven years now and when the economy got rough, it was her loyal customer base that kept her motivated. My customers have really helped me survive, especially right after I opened when we had that economic downturn, which was really rough. Um, my customers really supported us and, and kept us going through that. Langley and her employees come up with new flavors every other week to surprise customers. And when the holiday season kicks in, Baby Cakes is known to have people waiting in line just for a dozen of these. Holidays are really fun for us because we get to be really creative and do special things that we don't do uh, throughout the rest of the year. Baby Cakes not only offer cute looking cupcakes, but they're inviting the community in for a special kind of treat. Baby Cakes is offering a community oven day where you can come in, take advantage of this commercial oven, and bake cookies with your family, friends, and even neighbors. At home, it can take you hours and hours to get all of that done, but here, our customers can come in. Uh, we can have some festive music, some spiced apple cider and hot chocolate. To Langley, it is always a good time serving the Torrance community. I think, really, uh, I'm really happy here where I am. Uh, I have my own history here in, in this little shop, and um, I just like to stay here as long as possible and keep churning out some new flavors and some old favorites for my customers. For Spotlight Torrance, I'm Faith Lee. If you'd like to taste any of Baby Cakes Bakery delicious cupcakes, cookies, and more, you can look them up online at babycakeshop.com or you can call them at area code 310-373-2500. Faith, you're making me hungry. I don't know how you go out there and do this without bringing me some. Anyway, I already talked to Brian Sunshine, who gave me the skinny on the show, but I'm here with Linda Cessna, who puts the whole thing together, right? And you're performing. Yeah. <laughs> How does that feel? <laughs> you know, the performing part's easy, but putting everything together is a real pain. It's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So you've worked really, really hard to get to this point. Now, what are the differences or the changes with the show? Because I know that it's completely different, right? You know, this is a 15th year, and we've had a lot of the same acts year after year after year. So this year we decided, you know, let's try something a little different. We tried to streamline because I know Brian always says people are cutting off their arms in the theater to get out by the end of the oh, show. Oh, wow. So, okay. Yeah, <laughs> like, we're done. It goes long, yeah. yeah. So we wanted to make it shorter, make it, you know, just kind of fly along a little more. We got, um, we got some different people than we've had so that it would be a little bit fresher and newer. So... Okay, so that's great that you're kind of changing things up. Now tell me about who's going to be here tonight. Well, let's see. We do have, we have the Salsa Band from Transit, who this is, I think, okay. their third year, and they're very good. Um, we've got Leslie's brother, Tony, and his daughter. He used to sing with a boy band, and he's pretty good. I've been yeah. telling them about that because we're going to see an international, I've been calling them the international <laughs> pop star. So, yes, we're talking to him later. Yeah, well, I was expecting him to have ladies' panties thrown up on stage when he sang because <laughs> in rehearsal... He was really good. <laughs> yes. He was pretty awesome. Okay. We have the Torrells too, which you're a part of. Um, yeah, we're we're doing um, one of the Cole Porter numbers in the in the second half, and it's um you know it's a little different for us because we usually do the '50s stuff. So um, you know it's like let's just get a little more a little glamour going, a little you know a little more sophistication. So, so they're taking off the poodle skirts, and you're putting on something a little more like like black and white tie and dresses and yeah. lots of jewelry and everything. So we'll yeah. get to see that as well. Yeah. All right, I'm pretty well, excited nice. about that. So. All right, so stick around. We're going to talk to the international boy band, well, one boy, and then uh, the Terrells and James uh, Vanderveer and so many great people. So we'll catch you after the break. Oh, hey, bud. Where, uh, where are you headed? Uh, I'm just going to hang out. With Gary and Todd? Yeah. I've been meaning to ask you, is there any drinking going on in this crowd? No. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just... Tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. 
I'd do anything to keep you safe. Okay, I will. I hope this is working. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Is your body holding you back? Where do you think you're going? I want to go running. Not with that knee, you're not. Your bones and joints can say no at any age. Let's not uh, pick her up, what do you say? Yet a lot of people in pain fight back. Use your head. Save your back. My bride, my rules. And regain their lives. You gotta be kidding me. Whoa. Fight for your mobility. Visit anationinmotion.org. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. I'll take it from here. All right, so we're just starting to shake things up, and I have the Torrells with me, and they're changing outfits tonight, so tell me a little bit about how you're shaking things up. Well, what's different is that you'll notice we don't have our poodle skirts on for this show. We went black and white, a little bit, uh, you know, Cole Porter on us, so it's a little bit different, but it was fun. We had a good time. You're having a blast tonight. So you've came out for a very, very good cause, raising money for the American Cancer Association. And a few of you have something in common. So Hope, tell me, tell me what that is. Well, I've always loved supporting this show, and that's why I'm part of it. Um, I am a cancer survivor. I had melanoma. And uh, now my husband is fighting cancer. And there's so many in our group that um, have these same kinds of stories um, that... It's just one of these days, all of our hard work and all the money that we raise is going to help that doctor find that cure that will end cancer forever. I hope you are right. Now, I'm checking out some of your outfits. Tell me how you put this all together. <laughs> We just like this every day. It's like girls' night out, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you even have a tiara on. Oh, well, yeah, that's kind of my signature, kind of my M.O. The She's princess. princess. Like, yeah, yeah. But, okay, so, yeah, your black and white suit. Are these things that you have in your closet? That's what I want to know. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love it. Okay, they're fantastic. So I need to let these ladies go because they have a lot of hard work to do. But thank you so much for, for joining in. Thank you. All right, good Bye. luck. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've gotten things warmed up, we're going to talk to Haley again here shortly, but Faith Lee had went out to the Squirm Burpee Circus, which is a classic vaudeville entertainment type of thing, so I don't know, maybe similar to tonight. So anyway, let's check that out. To Brett Alters, performing on stage is in his genes. I've been performing since I was, like, probably in the womb. While probably not that young, but Alter said he's always been a class clown, and playing a villain is definitely his cup of tea. I feel great. It's like I can finally tell the world how I feel about them, and they think I'm joking, but I'm not. I'm not joking. That's how I really feel. <laughs> Alters definitely has a sense of humor, which is crucial if you want to be a part of the Squirm Burpee Circus crew. You also need to learn how to dance, juggle, and sing. We're constantly practicing on our own. All of us are in dance class or juggling practice or whatever it may be. When they're not attending classes, they could be making props for the show. Every prop that you see in the show was fabricated by Mike Keeling. He's the owner of the Handsome Little Devils. There are over a hundred props handmade by Mike Keeling himself, including this monkey wagon where it moves, it smokes, and it bubbles. It's a really, really crazy device. Everything here connects to everything else and moves independently. From a grassroots circus to now a successful comedy brand touring around the states, you have to give props to Mike Hewling for these handmade props. The handsome little devils are really coming up in the world, and I think it's because of this whole idea of fabricating everything themselves. They don't outsource, they don't have other people build. Just like the handsome little devils, Alters is making a name for himself. From a class clown to now a professional performer, he has his own way to describe this transformation just kind of a natural evolution from self-deprecation to self-promotion to more self-deprecation on stage. For Spotlight Torrance, I'm Faith Lee. 
If you would like to find out more about the events taking place through the Torrance Cultural Arts Foundation, you can check them out online at torrancearts.org. Then, if you'd like to book your tickets, you can book them through the ticket office at 310-781-7171. Thanks, Faith. That looks like a real adventure. Now, I'm moving on down the hall, and Haley, I'm catching up with you because I want to know, this show looks like it's going to be a real adventure as well. Hey, Christy, I was able to catch the action from the first half of the show. It looked like a lot of fun for attendees and the performers. Let's take a look. City employees got the crowd warmed up with an opening number. But the first act was all about the special guests. And one of them didn't even know he'd be performing. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to play tonight. I was just going to sit backstage and watch him. Chase is the son of Andy Hill, who was set to perform a few numbers with his partner Renee Safier. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to be. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a surprise because Renee woke up with a migraine. Renee was sick, so just did what I had to do. Andy and Renee have a huge following not only in Torrance but around the world. But fans didn't seem disappointed by the change of plans. Andy's son, he did a great job. Yeah, they sounded wonderful. Others came mostly to support their city employee friends, but were still blown away by the headlining act. The last act had a young man, 12 years old, helping his dad out at the last minute, and I thought that was pretty impressive. Another parent-child team also lit up the stage. Former pop star Tony Cortez performed with his daughter Alyssa for the first time. The Brotherhood Band and James Vandeveer also lent their talents to the show. Overall, the first act was a great collaboration of talent and compromise for the Hills and all of the performers. So the first act didn't exactly go as planned, but the show must go on, and it was pretty great to see Chase Hill get up there and join his dad on stage. Back to you, Christy. Thanks, Haley. Well, I've been talking about all along how I'm going to have an international pop star on the show. And so I'm welcoming Tony Cortez Hello. and his daughter, Alyssa, Hi. and they perform together tonight. So tell me how this all came about. Well, you know, my sister works for the city of Torrance, and she said, would you like to sing with your daughter, Alyssa? And I was like, this is going to be something I've been waiting for my whole life. You know, and it was it was a crazy thing I had on my bucket list, and it was it was more fun than I imagined. It was really good. Now, do you guys sing together in the car? Um, all the time. <laughs> like, it's yeah. natural. Like, we just go in the car and be like, okay, let's listen to this song. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's a battle. We battle each other, you know, and we fight over who's going to be on the radio and, you know, Justin Bieber, One Direction, all that stuff. I love them, too, because of her song. That's awesome. I do my own singing in the car, too, but it wouldn't be good if I had someone in the car with me. So, anyway, up after the break, I'm going to ask them a few more questions because they got to perform together. So, stick around. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That changed my life. At that moment, it hit me. This is why I joined the Guard. We're soldiers, always ready to protect our country. But we've also got communities, family, friends, neighbors, who count on us. I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life to somebody from my hometown. See what it means to be a citizen soldier at NationalGuard.com. At what age is the color that your skin was meant to be no longer beautiful? Every year, millions of young women try to change the skin they were born with and say they die for darker skin. Sadly, some actually do. Melanoma is the second most common cancer in teens and young adults, and one person dies from melanoma every hour. Change your thinking, not your skin. Stop tanning. Learn more at spotskincancer.org. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology. Welcome back to Spotlight Torrance, and I'm here with international pop star Tony Cortez, I like to just say yeah. that, and his daughter <laughs> Alyssa. Now, I asked you how this all came about, mm -hmm. but I got to see you guys both on stage. How did it feel? It was amazing. I, I, I've been dreaming about this for a long time. You know, we used to sing when she was a little girl, and to do this is almost like a bucket list thing for me, and the feeling was... I can't describe it. It was one of the most amazing things I've, I've ever experienced. Now, how did you pick the song that you were going to sing together? Um, I guess that song, Be Alright by Justin Bieber. Um, it's basically about us, like what we're going through right now. And I guess that suits us the best. 
Oh, okay, that's interesting. So yeah. there's a little background going on right. here. So right. it was her choice. That's <laughs> that's really great. And then yeah. the last song that you sang, which was right. one of my favorites, right. how'd that come about? I heard it. I saw Tootsie on uh, on TV, and I said, "Oh, that song's amazing." So I, I I looked it up, and I thought it was a great sentiment to sing. And I I didn't know that song, um, but after I heard, I watched the movie, I said I had to sing it for everybody. It's it's a great song. It's a great song. That's really amazing. So are you going to follow in your dad's footsteps? Um, if I had the opportunity, definitely, because I feel like I could make him proud the way he made me proud. So like, she's the best daughter, right? <laughs> she's I know. That's amazing. I, I'm gonna, I didn't pay her. I swear. She's, she's just the greatest daughter. Oh my gosh. I think it's really, really great that you got to come out tonight and you know make this all happen together. So I'm gonna let the two of you relax and actually enjoy yourselves because you've been working hard to make yeah. this all happen. And you guys should stick around because Haley Skeen earlier in the week went to the library video contest. Let's check that out. For Amanda Maddox, books and film go hand in hand. Whenever I'm reading a book, I always think about like, oh, how can I put this into a movie so that people can like visually see what I'm seeing in my mind. Maddox and four friends spent the summer bringing literature to life in their video, Books Can Take You Anywhere. More than a dozen films were submitted, all gunning for the grand prize. Principal Librarian of Operations Dana Vinke came up with the contest to help celebrate the library's 100 year anniversary. I think our staff morale is at an all-time high because they can see what the community feels about their service to the public. All of the video entries had a sentimental message to share about the library. Also in Maddox's group was Reese Scarpignato, whose editing skills helped them to take the prize in the youth category. Reading is an adventure and the library is a great source for reading. The winning entry in the teen category came from a group of high school students. They made a music video as a tribute to the refuge they often find at the library. Like there's a bunch of stuff you can research. It's always quiet. Like at my house, it's like always loud and my brothers and sisters always bother me. But here, I can find whatever I want. The winning groups each walked away with the $500 prize donated by the Friends of the Torrance Library. For Maddox, the chance to share her work with the community was the best part of winning the contest. Now that the public is watching it, I kind of like get a feel for where I stand among other filmmakers my age. So I'm really excited. And if Maddox ever needs inspiration in her career as a filmmaker, there are five great libraries in Torrance that she can visit. For City Cable, I'm Haley Skeen. To find out more about services and events going on at the five Torrance Library locations, you can call the library while they're open at 310-618-5969. You can also check them out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Torrance Public Library. So speaking of winners, I've been talking about how people get to come out and donate to this great cause for the American Cancer Society at the Employee Variety Show. And I found, go ahead. Cassidy Fowler. Cassidy Fowler. And what did you win? Because I'm actually very excited about this. I won baby cake sweets and a gift card to the bakery. Okay, now I think that's pretty amusing because I actually just, one of our reporters was just talking about baby cakes and all the new products that they have for the fall. So why did you come out tonight? I've been coming out since the show started to support my family. My Aunt Linda Cessna and my Uncle Ron Cessna are actually in the show. And this is actually our second year that my grandma hasn't been here. And we lost her to cancer two years ago. So this was, it was good to see everyone perform and see people that new faces perform. And a lot of family friends actually came out tonight and performed on stage. So it was really great. Yeah, it was. And you get to go home and have some cupcakes. Yeah. I mean, who can complain about that? Right? Yeah, definitely. My family's going to be eating these all night. <laughs> all right. I'm pretty excited for you. So anyway, Haley has been doing a great job at checking out the Employee Variety Show. And we're on to part two. So go ahead, Haley. Show me. Thanks, Christy. Yeah, the show is great, and it looks like it was a lot of fun for everyone involved. Let's take a look at the second act. Fred Richards says no rehearsal can prepare you for that feeling you get when the curtain rises. When you see all these people, there's something about the energy of the people, and then you can hear the titters and all of that. It just makes chills run through your spine, so that's what it's all about. Richards retired after working for the city of Torrance for 30 years, but he still took the stage with more than a dozen city employees and community members for this year's variety show. The supportive response from the audience helped all of the amateur performers to shine. 
the applause just built my confidence. It was like, okay, Josh, this is your voice, so you have to, you know, this is it. Go with what God gave you. The employees blew the audience away with a medley of Cole Porter songs, keeping with a cabaret theme. It was great fun. It was just one of those things. And after the final number, more than 30 people went home with a prize. Winner is 175795. The greatest prize of all was the funds that were raised and presented to the American Cancer Society. And it says, big check. After the show came to a close, performers were glad to be out of the spotlight. Oh, we had so many rehearsals. It was great. We have to learn our lines, our notes, and where to move. And when it's all done, it's just such a relief to get it over with. Like Switzer, Richards was also excited to shed his goofy alter ego. It's always fun to do the show, but it's such a relief to have it over. Um, but nevertheless, I'm looking forward to next year and to see what happens. The show was a hit, but now the city employees will get back to what they do best, making Torrance a great place to live. For City Cable, I'm Haley Skeen. Everybody is enjoying the show so much, and I have James Vanavere here, who's been working really hard tonight. You've had quite a few different uh, appearances here on stage. Tell me a little bit about your performances. Well, in the first act, I did a song called Strange Music. Okay. And Strange Music is interesting because it's an Edvard Grieg symphonic poem, which is then adapted. The Broadway folks stole that music and put words to it and put it in a Broadway show called Song of Norway. So it has an interesting past. Yeah, it is. And then you did a cool porter cabaret style, right, for the second part where everybody joined together. Indeed, right. It's a, uh, I introduce it and tell a little bit about Cole Porter. And Cole Porter, of course, wrote dozens and dozens of musicals. This is just a collection of some of the most popular songs that everybody's going to know. So tell me why you came out tonight, because obviously this is an important event to be at, but you're not a city employee, so it's everybody has joined well, in, right? Well, Linda Cessna is the coordinator, and she's mm -hmm. a longtime friend for many years since we worked together at Torrance Community Theater. But then, to make it a little more personal, over the last few weeks, I've lost one friend to cancer and another friend who's in the last days. So it's time that we do something about that. Yes, it absolutely is. And there's, I'm astounded at the amount of money that everybody has raised for this very, very special show. So it's great to see everybody join in together. So I want to say thank you very much. And it looks like we're going to be heading out and checking out some more. Sounds good to me. All right. <laughs> I think I'm talking to people. I can't see anyone. <laughs> oh, now I can hear you. That helps. If we all give a little bit, you'd be surprised what that adds up to be. My greatest asset was Goodwill. This is all about four bucks. <laughs> Nice. No, it was on special. Uh, Yay, good one. That first song uh, for the second act, uh, I didn't quite know all the words too, so I was like, oh Lord, I hope nobody knows this, I'm going to lip sync. <laughs> Well, that's all we have time for on Spotlight Torrance, where we're exploring your city. I'm Christy Wilcox, your host for today's show, and we'll catch you next time.